Moving along here in the post-game show. Number 21 is with us right now. After this amazing stretch drive, and during this stretch drive, I mean, there's no question. Yeah, Malik was a young, still is a young player. Malik didn't play much his junior and, and senior year, had the injury and sat around a lot last year and didn't get as many minutes and struggled early this year. Malik Pope, now, now, how you feel? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty satisfied tonight. You should be. But uh, we still got a lot of work to do. We got to get ready for New York and, you know, get back on the grizz on when we start practicing two days. I hear you. I hear you. You been to New York at all? Never. Different than anything you've ever seen. Yeah, I'm very excited to play at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> it is. I mean, the Garden is it. I mean, it is it. Not just NBA, but college basketball yeah. forever. It's, it's, and you guys, you, and you guys have earned that, man, because you could, you could have been, hey, we're not, it's, yeah. not, it's, it's NIT, nobody cares. You could have come out here and, and been beaten at home like Colorado State. We went NIT last year. They were disappointed. They got beaten at home. They were out of the NIT. Yeah. Your response in, in the locker room, I think you'll agree, has been remarkable. Yeah, and it all starts with, you know, Winston, Skyler, and Angelo. You know, they, we, we brought our, we, they brought the team together and was like, come on, like, you know, we're in it now, so let's, let's do this. We can't bail out. We can't not give it our all. We got to give it our all and, and take out whoever we got up next. So it's, it's, it started with them, and they got us all going. So we're thankful for them. I know you're playing, so I don't know how much you hear. A lot of players, they don't really hear. They come after the game and say, my God, it was so loud, but they didn't hear it because they're playing. Yeah. When you hit the three, the car is dribbling down. He gets it out to you. The clock's down to about two seconds, and you make this 25, 26-footer. Did you hear how loud it got? Oh, yeah, it got really loud. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even celebrate it was too loud. I was like, oh, man, like, they, they, could, they can handle this one. <laughs> it was real loud in here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Malik, Malik thought, hey, they, they, there's plenty of people celebrating. I'll just, I'll just run up court. I'll just run up court. <laughs> you, have, nice play. <laughs> <laughs> you have back-to-back double-doubles. And you got to feel good about yourself, man. And I don't mean just not the scoring. Put the scoring aside because mm-hmm. Dutch and, and Fish tell me, this kid is moving his feet. He's rebounded. He's become a massive a massive defender based on improving his defense. You feel better about your defense and your rebounding because it's made this team a much different team. I'm blowing smoke at you. It's made it a much different team the way you played. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I just try to be, you know, as productive as possible. I try to show my versatility when I'm not scoring the ball. I'm just go rebound the ball, push it, make a play. So it all starts with me not, you know, giving, giving up or being down on myself during the game when situations like this game happen when I'm mm-hmm. shooting horribly up in the field. <laughs> so I just try to figure out a better way to help the team and not bring anybody down. So it's like, all right, I'll just play defense and rebound and, you know, let Trey Kell and Winston and Dakari. <laughs> Boy, he was something tonight. Yes, I he was. Him. He was something tonight. <laughs> and he's not just saying that because Dakari's right next to him either. Man, he would have said that anyway. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of not a lot of teams in the ACC can guard number two. No and, way. Oh, I mean, my God. He showed, like, no. this, this, this conference ain't no joke. And they don't. They don't. I don't think they've seen a defense like us, like ever. No, they have not. They have not. That's what bothered me when uh, I read the Seattle Times and Andrew Andrews, who was like you know four for twenty five because yeah. Dakari was on him and and, and Trey. Telling you. And, and he to, and he told you get you'll love this. He said he said no. It's just that our shots that normally go in weren't going in. It wasn't oh, anything man. they. It wasn't anything they were doing. And I thought, kid, kid, put a sock in it, man. <laughs> the defense is a good reason why you're missing those shots. Uh, <laughs> man, I know that's what he said, and I thought, come on, come on, man, come yeah. on. This has truly become one of the best defenses. Give the credit when it's due. Exactly right, exactly right. Malik, I'm not going to ask you any NBA questions mm-hmm. about staying or going. That's for after the NIT for you to decide. But everybody knows you'll be in the NBA one day, and you have played, like I said, tremendous basketball to make this a much better team. I congratulate you. I appreciate the time. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You bet. That's Malik Pope and Dakari Allen to stand by to come back with us again here. Because like we said, it's all defense and one of the best defenses in all of college basketball coming in. Best in lowest field goal percentage. Number three in total points allowed, 60. Sixth against the three. Number 10 in the nation in shot blocks and on and on and on. Dakari, you have been chasing these guys around, these little June bug guards that are so quick and so fast. And number two, Adam Smith, man, I thought he was faster than the Washington guys. Man, yeah, he was. There was one time on the baseline, he kicked into a whole nother gear I've never seen before. <laughs> you know, because it's, it's easy, man. It's easy to shoot the threes. Not easy to make them. But, and, and slam dunks. Everyone wants to do that and get on the ESPN and get on the highlights and all that stuff and be, be in the top ten. But defense is about work. And that's what this staff teaches. True? Yeah, you know, that's something that we hang our hats on. You know, uh, we always want to be the better defensive team when we step on the court. And 
you know, that's something I always took pride in, even when I was in high school, you know, it was mm-hmm. something that just came natural to me. So uh, I just like to go out there and do my job, you know, help the team win. This, this uh, Washington club, I thought, was really good, but they were very young. These guys are all transfers, they're seniors, and they are a terrific team, one of the best conferences. They think they're the best. And they, 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 that said, there was some smack talk out there with them talking about ACC and Mountain Mess being nothing. True? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> when, th- when 32 hit his first jump hook, he was like, yeah, the ACC is a different breed. It's a different breed. <laughs> Feed me. I'm like, man, that's your first bug. <laughs> we always come around. <laughs> you been to New York? Nah, man, the closest I got to was Philadelphia from uh, a camp uh, in high school. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. Um, I know it's going to be cold. It's not going to be like it was this morning, but, hey, New York is New York. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked ahead. I mean, it changed. But they had like, you know, 58 during the day and 40 hey, at night. Out. Didn't too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Bring a coat, though. Bring a coat. It's, it's an amazing city, and it is. Madison Square Garden is the basketball capital of the world, like it was for heavyweight fights for Ali and all the others. It's The history just speaks to you, man, and you have earned the right to go there. Dakari, I congratulate you, and again, thanks for the time. Oh, yeah, thank you. Can't wait to get to the Mecca. I hear you. I hear you. That's Dakari Allen, big time. And again, Dakari didn't have big total points, but listen, in terms of the contribution, three points, four rebounds, three assists, four steals. Four steals for Dakari, and uh, had himself a terrific, terrific ball game. So did the Aztecs. That's why they will make their final arrangements. They haven't done that yet in terms of time or size of plane or what, who's on the traveling party. But they will leave no matter what, probably mid-morning Sunday, get there Sunday night, lose the three hours, practice and acclimate on Monday and play on Tuesday against George Washington in the semifinals of the National Invitation Tournament. What a close to the season, overcoming disappointment and making the absolute best of it. But as they said, two games they want remaining to win to raise a banner here opening day next year, next November.